All right, it's official. I just hit start on the Wahoo, start ride. Mile one of 225. Let's do this. Just kidding, I forgot my helmet. <laughs> All right, one more kiss. One more love, one more love. I love you, man. He told us to go faster. I don't know how to feel about that. All right, we're just outside of town now. We're on the longest stretch of pavement on the whole route. It's about 12 miles. I don't like filming on the road, especially with a really low shoulder like this thing. There's like nothing. And I am not an avid road biker, neither is Nikki. So we're more of the off-road mindset. So we're not as tuned into that. So. This will be the longest stretch of pavement you do on the mountains of manure bike packing route. So if you decide to do it, the rest is pretty much off road. And you are hammering down that road, by the way. Is it? Are you all the good? Weed you I'm all carrying. good? It's like a friggin' semi tractor trailer. <laughs> Look at this thing. It is a beast. There's so much weight in here. Just like, here you go, Nikki. The Wahoo's going crazy beeping at me, and that can only mean one thing some dirt and a little bit of vert. Here we go. Now we start it up. Yeah, it's up for a while. Alright, so we just and oh god oh my lord <laughs> we just entered into the trailhead of uh Peacot hill pond it's an old snowmobile trail still in, in use but um that's what's gonna cut us over to uh get us over to where we're gonna camp eventually for the night but if if you don't want to go through that like 12 miles of off-road you can park right there at the trailhead and just leave your car there so that was kind of the original plan for anybody else that was trying to do this here we go. It's kind of a rough, like class, class six, class four road. It gets there's the gate. Let's get into the woods. Heard this beat in my dream. What a beautiful pine bed trail. That was nice. Yeah, we're gonna go right. How about you go that way, and I'll go this way, and since you have the Wahoo, yell at me what it's telling us If it to tells do. us to go the right way? Yeah. Alright. Ready? Yep. Bye. Bye. Have a good trip. Huh? Have a good trip. Oh, I think I was right on my side. Oh, boy. <laughs> I think so. It's rough. There we go. Let's take a look here. I think it's saying I'm right. It looks cool. I feel like this is just a spur to the pond. I think it's telling us we're wrong. But I wanted to see the pond anyways because it's pretty cool. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, this is just a spur. Woo! Wow.
you to get in there, Rock. I want uh, you to get in there and I want you to start swinging. Uh, Why do we have to do this? I don't know. Because we're 40? Because we're 40. <laughs> Apparently that's hey, a number where you're back. I am not even 38 yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, should we get going? Mm -hmm. I thoroughly enjoyed this little stop, though. All right, Peacot Hill Pond. Thank you. Huh? This is the first new thing that we've seen. Yeah, we yeah we haven't seen. We reconned a little bit of this route here and there, but for the most part, we wanted it to be a surprise. So this is a surprise. This is beautiful, and we're definitely going to come back here and camp for a little small overnighter at some point. I would highly recommend this place. the commotion and that's okay because we're in motion i can feel the sway oh look at all these things dragonflies no, no. hey guys it's the natural Colorado. caution bridge ahead Just up and up and up and up and the ground is shaking but you know what that means there's a big coast on the other Just end of it Hey, it's awesome. That was the peak of that climb, so now we get a nice long down, according to the Wahoo, which I love this thing. It tells you like what you got coming up before you even get to it. Ready to do a little downhill? Mm-hmm. Whoa! What was that? Kind of break you're taking right now? A rosé break. Very nice. I have no idea what time. It's probably morning still. <laughs> it, I think it is still morning, but I think it's necessary because I think it's just too much weight on the I back of your pack. Too much shit on the back. I had to bring the rosé. Had to bring a can of rosé. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> and it's a bubbly one, so it's probably gonna explode when I uh, open it. What? Where are we? I have no idea. Nikki, you see the big beaver mansion right there? Look at that thing. It's huge. I don't think the camera can see it, but that is, yeah, it's lovely construction. Wonder who subcontracted that. Oh, a frog. Right here. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, man. Whoa, he's <laughs> gone. made it to the gate. I don't know what that means. <laughs> no, I think we're coming up on the gravel road now, soon enough. When you say Passover, you mean I don't know. Oh. Thanks. Who gave you the lighter bike?
I know, that was cool. Wow, oh. what a view. Wow, Holy that? crap. Wow, that's amazing. Look how green it is. Wait, we've been here, right? Like on the end of the car to check it out. This is, this is one of the spots that we came to to recon, like if that spit out where we yeah. just spit out near those two oh. trucks. That was like perfect. That perfectly worked out. I don't see any. Oh, we got one right there. Tick checks are fun. <laughs> Perfect weather. You can ask for a better day. There's one in your belly button. <gasps> Just kidding. This road is fast. Nice gravel. Wow, that's awesome. I just got pelted by bugs in the face. <laughs> I think I swallowed four. Hey guys. Hey. They are just loving life right now. Smith Family Farm established 2018. Very cool. This is a nice little place. Oh, look at the little lamb. Oh, it's a it's an animal sanctuary and rescue, the sign says. Very cool. Free wood? Oh firewood. <laughs> I didn't say free wood. What a beautiful little place. That's probably one of the prettiest roads I've ever seen in, yeah, in New Hampshire. By far. Yeah. It was gorgeous. It's Pretty like quiet. wilderness, but like manicured countryside at the same time. Yeah. All right, we got to get back on another snowmobile trail after that little short stint to gravel. This looks good too, though. Yeah. I don't know where I this takes know. us to uh, Ellsworth Hill Pond, Ellsworth Hill Road, and then we were pretty close to camp, where we're thinking about camping for the for yeah. the night. So. Well, we're just hanging out. It's right on the Baker River, so yeah. that sounds like a nice little beach. Day. Go for a dip. Yeah. And a shower. And some burritos. And beer. And beer. No throttles. Put your engine away. You've had an engine all day. You've been holding out on me. I carved up. Yeah, you must have.
uphill. Nice, it's really cold. Nice. I love this filter from Catadon. The thing is awesome. It filters absolutely everything, like including like um, farm pesticides and stuff like that. It does all that. And it's really, really fast. It fills in a matter of seconds, not just like minutes. And also it has so much volume, it kind of doubles as like a little shower. Like you can spray your partner off um, if they need to clean off. So it works really well. And then always remember, keep your outlet hose separate from your inlet hose when you're storing it because you don't want to get it contaminated and then totally defeat the purpose of filtering your water. All right, let's get going. Look at that sun behind me, beautiful. This is a pretty good spot to wait this out, I think. The road's right there. So, let's hang out for a bit. Yeah, I don't pass. Yeah. What is this noise? 